Hello. Okay, let's get started on this. This is a rehash of my Arduino power inverter circuit. I did a video on this a couple years ago. This is somewhat updated. It's really the same thing. Except it's a nicer layout and I have better I have a better camera. I have some better lighting. And let me show you around on it first. Okay. Typical Arduino. This is the this is a pair of optocouplers. This is a pair of power MOSFETs. This is a transformer. I'm feeding 12 volts from this battery into the secondary side of this transformer, which is the windings will be driven by these power MOSFETs. The Arduino generates two 180 degree out of phase square waves. They're 180 degrees out of phase. And by switching these transistors on and off, um, what we're doing is using a pulsating DC to step it up into a higher voltage AC. As so, watch the light bulb. That's a 120 volt LED bulb. Let's try another different bulb in it. That's a 3 water. This is a 60 watt equivalent and it will probably blind the camera. These are LED bulbs. It also works on incandescent but LED bulbs are far more efficient and make more sense. Let's power it up, see how bright it gets. Yep, pretty bright. Let me put in another bulb and we'll try a run-of-the-mill incandescent. And, of course, it works with an incandescent. Alright, several issues here that I didn't explain in the original video. No, without a lot of extra circuitry, this is not going to put out a beautiful sine wave. This is a simple demonstration circuit. This demonstrates what you can do. It is not, as it sits, a finished product that you can take out and sell. If you happen to have these transformers and you have the appropriate power source, um, okay, if you had a 24 volt center tap transformer, for instance, you, you can use different transformer and battery combinations, but you just have to watch how the voltages fit together. Basically, like I said, this puts out a square wave. You'd have to need a lot of additional circuitry to produce a sine wave. Alright, let's look at the second part of this discussion momentarily. Let's look at a commercial unit for a power inverter, and they're very cheap. Um, what you see there, of course, is sort of experimental to learn how to do some things. By the way, if you're before you ask, if you are on a 50 hertz system, go into the program and change the delays. Like I said, this produces two 180 degree out of phase square waves that drives these two transistors and it sort of goes back and forth on that split winding transformer setup and you can see it in the schematic. I'm running the transformer instead of a step down as a step up and as you saw earlier lights up the light bulb. Now, this is again a commercial unit. It's junk, but I saved it to show you a little bit how these actually operate. 
you notice the transformer here is a lot smaller than that transformer. It's a fraction of the weight. This is your 12 volt input. These transform transistors mounted to this heat sink are what drives this transformer. It's driven at a very high frequency, thousands of hertz in the kilohertz range, not 50 or 60 hertz that I programmed that to do. By doing that, and they do this in a lot of places in industry and in switching power supplies and stuff, by switching it at a high frequency, you reduce the transformer. The transformer is the big, high cost, heavy weight item in these. That transformer down there will cost more money to make than probably this entire inverter. That's just the way things are manufactured. This is run at a high frequency. The voltage produced is rectified largely to DC. It rectified to DC. Then you'll notice if you can see them and look real close, there are four MOSFETs or transistors over here. I haven't pulled off the heat sinks and hunted down the numbers. They are a chopper circuit that takes that high voltage charge from those caps and chops it into a square or sine wave depending on the complexity of the other circuits. So that's the difference between this and that. That's simple. You can up the frequency on that if you want to and it should still operate a light bulb but it won't operate properly a lot of other stuff because your reactance goes through the roof and if you up the frequency you'll hear a you'll hear a whine from the transformer but again doing this at 60 Hertz like I did simple way to get around it and it works again it works but in a practical commercial sense the, the battery voltage is switched into the transformer at a high frequency the high frequency uh, AC output is rectified and charges a set of capacitors which is then chopped into a square or sine wave with these transistors so I thought you'd like to know how these units really work I'll be honest with you if I had to buy, if I had to go practical on one of these I got a 200 watt unit for $16 at Harbor Freight this one was originally weight, uh, rated for 400 before it went bad on me. And, it, and the things are so cheap to buy, it wasn't worth repairing. And they won't sell you the parts anyway. So, so look at the website, take a look, and keep these things in mind. This is, this is for learning. This is to take camping. Thanks for listening.